Hello everyone, I'm Noah Brown, and welcome to Tommy Media's The Locker Room. The St. Thomas football team hits the road this weekend to take on Carleton College in Northfield. Since 2010, the Tommies have defeated the Knights by an average of 53 points per game. The Tommies are coming off a tough loss against Wisconsin Stout last weekend. In the game against the Blue Devils, tight end Matt Christensen caught the Tommies' only touchdown pass, and defensive back Mark Dowdle recorded one of two Tommy interceptions. This week I'm joined by head coach Glenn Caruso, Matt Christensen, and Mark Dowdle. Guys, thank you so much for being in today. Glad to be with you. Thank you for right. us. So, Coach, uh, the defeated Stout was the first loss the team has faced in the regular season since 2014. Mm -hmm. But, however, in every game you've played against Carlton since 2010, you've defeated them by a large margin. Uh, how are you going to be able to use this week's game against Carlton to work on things in-game that you wouldn't be able to in other games? Well, regardless of who we were playing this week, uh, coming off uh, a less than impressive performance last week, it's more about us doing our job to the best of our ability. And uh, certainly we need to prepare for Carlton to be ready for them. Uh, but but a lot of the preparation is more about uh, what do we need to do to fix some of the issues that we're having. And regardless of who is, we're playing in week three, that would not have changed. Okay. And Matt, you're on, you're on the receiving end for the lone passing touchdown for the Tommies on Saturday. How can you personally create more scoring opportunities from the tight end position, either for yourself or for other members on the team? I think uh, our offense takes a lot of pride in developing the run game, so establishing that early on really open up both more opportunities in the run game and the pass game as well. And I really think that our, our team takes a staple on having the, the run game be our main priority. Okay. And Mark, the defense was on the field for just under 33 minutes last week and for over 15 drives, several of which were uh, extended by defensive penalties. How can the defense reduce those errors while still maintaining a physical, aggressive attack? I think just going back to the technique that uh, the coaches lay out for us and you know when we go every day in practice it's really focusing and having a hard energy focus on what we need to do better internally and not really focusing too much on who we're playing but how we can get better as a position group and then therefore as a unit and then therefore as a full team together. So I think it's just working together with you know the opportunities that we have and um, you know moving forward from there. And so, Coach, at the end of the day, a loss is a loss. Mm -hmm. However, how different is a loss early in the season, like in week two, compared to a loss, you know, maybe in week eight, nine, or ten when you're gearing up for the playoffs? Oh, look, I mean, there's no great time to have a loss. We all understand that. Um, what we do know is that we do a pretty good job as a program of learning uh, from our mistakes and our failures. Sometimes it manifests in a loss, as you saw Saturday. But I think we're a pretty focused group where even if we win a game, um, we will focus more on the process and realize that there's a lot of in intermediate failures within that. Uh, and I think we grow really well from that. We don't have many losses around here. Um, proud in, in many ways that it's awkward, you know, when you have something like that. But it also allows us an opportunity to see very clearly what we need to grow on and what we need to get better at. And that's exactly what an early loss did for us. And like I said, you don't want any any time, but uh, the last loss that we had was a season ender. And the blessing, and one of the many blessings of this one is we can still learn and grow and get better from it. And now it's time for this week's fan question. So this is for all of you. Junior yeah. Ethan Odegaard wants to know, what do you find most helpful about playing non-conference games to start off the season? Uh, personally, when you schedule them, we want to try and schedule the best opponents we can. And uh, I've always believed that since uh, I started becoming coaching in, 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 as a head coach. Um, and there's a lot of different uh, benefits to it, but win, lose, play well, not play well, I think when you schedule tough opponents, it allows you to see what you're good at versus those teams and also see what some of your weaknesses are, as we saw last week. Uh, so that's the biggest thing with me. Certainly, our, our league is very good. It's one of the best in the country. Uh, our good non-conference opponents prepare us for that. But uh, I just want to know where we are. So that when we hit our season, we can move forward and know what we have to grow at. When we face a, a non-conference opponent, we may not have the most amount of film that we usually do versus some of our MIAC opponents. So being able to have in-game adjustments, I think, is really crucial because we're going to get uh, every team's A game. So facing an in-conference opponent, they might change up their style, their strategy a little bit. So practicing that in a non-conference setting with not a whole lot of film to go off of is really important. I think that a lot of times when you get in league play and different leagues kind of have their own styles of offense, looking at it from a de defensive perspective. Um, so when you get a chance to play those non-conference games, you kind of see different styles of play that you might not see within your conference. So it kind of prepares you to, you know, for future opponents um, to kind of get a feel for where your strengths are and where your weaknesses are and where you can grow from there. If you have a fan question, tweet it to at Tommy Media.
That's all the time we have for today on The Locker Room. Thank you guys so much for coming. Welcome. In. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Be sure to check TommyMedia.com on Saturday for full game day coverage. With Coach Caruso, Matt Christensen, and Mark Dottle, I'm Noah Brown. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time in The Locker Room.